Yeah, Henry Longfellow. Go. Oh. So he left the real village yeah, to teach here. He lived for many years until his children grew up. And there, and there, there are the, their children. Which one? Don't get so close. Bellows. Bellows and swinging his heavy upon the and their sledge. Sledge. Sledge is a hammer. Sledge. The upon the anvil, he stops to chat with the blacksmith and to ask questions about his work. Then when he returned home, he wrote a poem about the village blacksmith. His poem was published in newspapers and until nearly everyone in the American region finally it was repeated in school books and the American children saw the beautiful world of the spring chestnut tree and the blacksmith shop and the music. Then one day Do you want me to finish it for you or do you do you want to read it? I wanna read this. Well, you're not there. You got to read this first. Okay, finish this and we'll read this tomorrow, okay? okay. Good job. Great reading. When they were free and in order to do this, they would have to cut down the chestnut tree. The poem of Cambridge, however, did not want that when cut down. He tried to the city mayor and his friends to spare the tree, although the great old man who loved the tree, they would not let it stand, but the, they planned a nice surprise to Mr. Longfellow. They invited the children of the public school to build out of the world woods of that tree by the small subscriptions a useful unexpected gift please miss the long fellow very much and he sat too close back up one day and he wrote a poem of things of to the children, he played a, the charm in his study and invited all the boys and girls to come and see it and what a day position of his youth 
videos that in Mr. And also on the credit card that I gave the credit the, card. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. And the Indians caused him to write the song of Too close. a beautiful poem which has been rewritten in many languages. The Indians too were pleased with the poem. And years after the poem died, they invented his daughters to at their celebration to see the perform from the in the forest on the shores of the big sea water of Lake. At the age of seventy-five years old, Henry. Wad, Wadsworth, Wadsworth, Longfellow. Longfellow died, but the beautiful poems were, which he wrote, continued to live on the, on and to keep their established established places among the best. Literary, literary classics. Literary classics. And so it happened that he, who the, when a boy wanted his country to a famous poet up to become that famous man himself. Awesome.